With the trend that we are seeing now, it's very likely that there will be a day within this century that there will be no ice in the Arctic. There has been a drastic change from the 1980s and early 1990s to the present. The perennial ice cover in the 1980s was averaging between 7 and 8 million square kilometers. In 2007, when this, there was this drastic decline, it went down to as low as 3.5 square kilometers. And in 2012, it went down to almost 3 million square kilometers. Compared to previous editions of the Atlas, the change in sea ice coverage, that graphic portrayal, that white polygon has uh, significantly changed over time. And in the 10th edition of this, you'll see a, a significant reduction in area covered by ice. On our Arctic Ocean plate, we show two features of the different types of sea ice. There's the limit of multi-year ice and then the maximum extent of sea ice. The maximum extent of sea ice will fluctuate annually with the seasons. It generally decreases in the summer and increases in the winter, and so the maximum that we show it usually occurs sometime around March. Multi-year ice is ice that has been frozen for up to two summers, and that is generally more stable and doesn't change as much, but the studies have shown that it has been steadily decreasing over the past decade. The warming that's being felt in the Arctic is the greatest warming throughout the world. If you lose the ice in the Arctic, it doesn't cause an impact of just the Arctic region. It's going to be global 